Hi, I'm Mint Valley. It's our second week that we're getting ready to start our virtual class meetings again. And again, where our focus is being a learner. So we are working on ways to be learners, whether we're at school or working at home virtually right now. So the book I'm going to share with you today is called Freddy the Fly, Be On, Buzz Off. And it says it's a story about learning to focus and stay on task. And it's written by Kimberly Delude and illustrated by Brian Martin. This is important because it's even harder at times when we're home because we have all the distractions of home, all the things we like to do when we're at home. We like to play video games and our friends and other family members. And so staying focused is really difficult when you are trying to do learning from home. So I'm hoping that this book is going to give you a few little tricks and tips and then I have a fun little acti activity that's going to be also available for you to do online after you've listened to the book. So this is called Freddy the Fly, Beyond Buzzing. My name's Freddy, and I'm, and from the second I wake up, I am a go, 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 go. My body's always tapping, my wings are always flopping. They go up and down so quickly that they make a buzzing noise. Buzz. They sing as I race for the door. Suddenly, Mom shouts, Freddy! I pause, but my wings keep flapping. Yes? Did you forget something? I try to think, but my mind is blank. She smiles and says, uh, Your shirt? Oops, that was a close one. I zoom to go get it. I'm just about to leave again when I hear, Freddy! Are you forgetting something else? I have all my clothes in my backpack. What could it be? Mom holds up a lunch bag. All right. You see, sometimes I move so quickly, I forget things. But it's not my fault. There's just too many distractions. Like in art class yesterday, there was a, this really cool trash volcano. I couldn't take my eyes off it. And as soon as Mr. Bugaso stopped talking, I flew up to touch it, which landed me in trouble. Because the entire time I was so busy staring at it, Mr. Bugaso had been explaining that absolutely no one was allowed to touch it. Or during our spelling lab test, Mrs. Stinger had the ceiling fan on and it was making such a cool noise. I started tapping along and making up my own rhymes. I got so caught up in that I didn't hear any of the spelling words. And I had to stand from recess to finish my test. Today, it's impossible to stay focused because we're going on a field trip to the zoo. How many of you have felt that way sometimes? Something gets your attention and you realize you've missed the instructions or you're excited about something, so it's hard to keep your brain focused. On the bus, I feel my body begin to tap and my wings start to flap. The buzzing is so loud now and there are so many interesting things to see out the window that I miss what Mrs. Stinger is saying. With each tap and flap, a new thought races through my head. Tap. I should ask her what she said. Flap. Are we free? By the time the door is open, I've already forgotten what I was going to do. I try to stand with the other kids, but then I see a lion. Oh, look, tigers. Hey, are those bears? I buzz from animal to animal, snapping pictures as I go. Finally, a noise louder than the buzz catches my attention. Grumble, rumble. It's my stomach, and it's hungry. I stop to ask someone when we'll have lunch. But everyone I know is gone. I look left. I look right. I look high and even way down low. No one. Getting nervous, I start to sweat. A puddle forms at my feet. Excuse me, do you need some help? Asks a bumble guide. They are the bugs who work at the zoo. For a second, I forgot what was wrong, and then it all comes crashing out. Ah, 
I went to look at the lions and tigers and bears, and now I'm hungry and lost, and I don't know where my class is. Well, says the guide, did your class have a special meeting spot? I think back to riding on the bus and realized that's what Mrs. Stinger was talking about when I was looking out the window. I hang my head. Yes, but I don't know where it is. Not to worry, the guide says. My name's Gus. We'll find them. We go to Gus's office and my body hums back to life. I somersault around the room. What's this trophy for? Hey, did you really go on a safari? Is that a real? Whoa. Hold up, Gus says. One thing at a time. We have to do what we came here for. I stop. What was that again? Oh, all right. Finding my class. It seems like you have a hard time keeping your buzz under control and listening. I nod as I eat one of his chocolate bug cookies. I used to be the same way. Really? Really. What'd you do, I asked. I learned to turn the B on and turn the buzz off. Huh? Gus explained, the buzz is your body that's constantly tapping and flapping and keeps your, you moving and it makes it really hard to listen. But sitting still is so hard for those of us who are go, go, go. What you need is to channel the buzz into smaller movements for those times you can't be moving. Try this cater wiggle band. You can squeeze and pull while the rest of you stays in place. We have some of those at Mid Valley, don't we? Be on is your brain, eyes, and ears. These are what you need to listen. You have to look at the speaker, listen to what they say, and picture doing it in your mind. Ah, uh, seems really hard, I say. It will be hard at first, says Gus. Let's practice with a game of Buzz Says. That sounds familiar. How do you play? I ask. I'm going to give you an instruction. Before you do it, repeat it to yourself two times and picture doing it in your head. Only after you do that can you do what I asked. Okay? Stand up. As soon as the words are out of his mouth, I'm up. Oops, sorry. No apologies needed. It's going to take some time, Gus says. Just then, Mrs. Stinger showed up, and I started to hand Gus the band. Nope, you keep that as a reminder to be on and buzz off. On the bus. Mrs. Slinger clears her throat. Everyone, when we get back, I want you to go to your spot on the rug. I turn to look out the window, but the band in my hand catches my eye. I squeeze it and repeat Mrs. Stinger's instructions two times while picturing in my head myself doing it. Bug to rug, bug to rug. By the time we get back to school, I can't remember what we're supposed to do. Mosquita and I both stare at each other because she can't either. I can hear her body buzzing almost as loudly as mine. Mrs. Stinger comes over and asks if we remember the instruction. I squeeze the band and remember the picture I took with my brain. I say, bug to rug. Mrs. Stinger smiles. That's a good strategy. It's also good to have a friend to help you to stay on task. Try reminding each other if you forget. There's another one. Then Mrs. Stinger starts sing talking to the whole class about our next assignment. M my body begins to buzz and my eyes wander around the room to see what everyone else is doing. When I catch Mosquito's eye, she nods her head towards Mrs. Stinger, reminding me to listen. I squeeze the cater wiggle band, turning my buzz off and turn my be on. Class, I want you to do your trash sculpture first, then you can splatter paint. I repeat it twice and picture myself doing it. Trash first, splatter second. It works. And for the rest of the day, Mosquita and I help each other to remember to be on, buzz off. By the end of the day, I'm so tired. 
that when I get home, I just fall on the couch. From the kitchen, mom says, time to wash up and set the table. I half listen as I stare at the TV screen. Then I flood up the stairs, wash my hands, and race back to the couch. The commercials have just ended when I hear mom clear her throat. Uh-oh. I try to think back, oh, but I hadn't been listening. I explained to her the beyond buzz off skill I learned that day, and I told her I'd forgotten to do it earlier. It's okay, she says. That's why I make lists. You do? Yes. Everyone has trouble remembering things at times. So making a list of what you need to do is great because you can go back and look at whatever you need as a reminder. See, here's mine. Get groceries, make dinner, sign Freddie's report card. Good thing we looked at this. I almost forgot about your report card, she says. When I get to school the next day, Gus, the bumble guide, is standing there smiling at me. He has my camera. How's be on and buzz off working, he asks. It's hard, I say, but I got it. I'm pretty sure I won't forget things from now on. I head off to class. Freddy, he calls. I pause and pin. Yes. Did you forget something, he says, smiling. I stop and think. And he points to the camera. Oops. Well, I almost never forget. Okay. So Freddie taught you two things today. Be on and turn your buzz off. And also making a list can help you remember things. So as you're working at home these, this next week and you're going through the assignments or you're on Zoom with your teachers, please remember to try to turn your buzz off and turn your be on and be great listeners and learners. Have a great week this week, you guys. Hope to see some of you in some Zoom sessions. Talk to you soon.